Java dot Java. Okay, this uh, Selenium IDE is able to do by these formats. Okay, I just chose options from Selenium options menu. Okay, you are having multiple multiple formats right here. Okay using this formats selenium ide is able to uh, format our code I'm sorry these are configurations using these configurations selenium is able to format our code you have to know why that is why i showed this window let me close this now come back to my notepad we have created a class file and the next thing we did was exporting our test case into exporting our test case from selenium IDE as a java file that is done we have this code now now how do I proceed with this code what exactly uh, I'm going to do with it. Can I uh, run it exactly the way it looks which means copy and paste it to the Java file which I have created and start executing it. We can't. We cannot do that. There are more things to add to this script. Only thing I can say is only thing I can say is I can just take two things from here to copy to my newly created Java code in Eclipse. Okay, I'm going to take this library files. You all know why import commands are used in Java files. Imports are used to import our libraries to our runtime. Okay, when the program is getting compiled, the libraries which we import will be used in compilation. Let me say control C. I'm copying the libraries first. And I'm going to my Eclipse window. I'm going to my Eclipse window. And I'm pasting these things. I'm pasting the copied libraries. The moment I paste it, the moment I paste it, I'm getting the warnings. Because the warning says that the file the library files which you have just imported are never used. Okay, I'll say to Eclipse that I'll take care of that. Eclipse need not worry about that. But the <coughs> but what I'm going to do next as a next step will uh, will cover this risk. Okay. Libraries have been copied. Now I'm getting back. I'm getting back to my exported test case. Okay. I will copy I will copy the at test method the at test method you may ask what is at test we will see it in a few moments what exactly it is I will just copy it I do not want to uh, use this uh, public class statement as I already have one Okay, I already have something in place for public class because I cannot use advanced search right here. Okay, as you may know already about Java, a class name should always be in the file name. If both file name and class name are not same, it will not work. Okay, now I'll copy the at test part from my class file, from the exported class file, and I will paste it right here the at test part has been copied okay and I am getting many red lines right now okay a moment before we were noticing so many yellow lines in library files which was an error like it is not an error it says that the libraries which you are importing are never used the reason for Eclipse to show that warning is that no library file can be left unused because it unnecessarily occupies space when the program is getting compiled because we should so that we should use and we should restrict ourselves to utilize only those library files which we will use okay now we need to we are in need of 
taking out these red lines okay lifting these red lines how do we do that obviously obviously uh, that is an object which is being used in these lines okay uh, as i presume you people have no you people know about java already so selenium is something which looks like an object okay so selenium dot open meaning we are using an object and we are utilizing a method we are passing a method to that object now the reason selenium is being marked as a red as an error is that the object is not present Is my voice clear all? Please raise your hand. Is my voice clear to you all? Okay, okay, thanks. Thank you. Now, so I'm just placing my cursor. I'm just placing my cursor or mouse pointer over the red line in Selenium. It directly says me Selenium cannot be resolved. It means that it it is unable to find a reference to what we are doing right now. Selenium is not found anywhere in the code. Okay. To resolve it, to resolve it, we need to have one piece of code. Okay. We need to make this object available in this code right now. Selenium should be present. So, only after that it can be processed. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to say at before I am typing at be and I just use the keyboard shortcut control plus space bar which will let me know what are all the available things for the text which I have typed. So obviously I'm in need of using this before method. Uh, we will wait on this annotations. I will explain it to you when the, prog when, uh, when the program is complete. At before method. At before method. Okay. I'm going to say public void setup public void setup throws exception I am creating I am creating a new method a new method called setup okay and I am annotating it as at before method okay now let me write the code inside this we are just trying to resolve this selenium object right now okay in turn we will do more things in this part okay listen to me carefully uh, I'll say selenium equal to I'm sorry I just missed one more thing okay uh, before we try to do something with this object I'll say public selenium one sec Here also I'm getting an error. Okay. Let me say it cannot be. Uh, it is always displaying an error like the selenium cannot be displayed. I'm sorry, resolved. I'm in need of. I'm in need of adding something in this class declaration line. Okay. I'll say something like bookstore extends selenies test base okay inside this I will write public selenium
Okay. Let us type this code inside setup and then we will try to resolve all these errors. It will be a good learning for us also to how to solve errors. Now I'm going to type my code inside this setup. Okay. I'll say selenium is equal to new default selenium. I'll open the parenthesis and I'll say local host comma 4444 comma Firefox comma HTTP colon slash slash examples dot code charge dot com okay let me write the code let me write the code once I write the code I'll explain so I'm just putting everything in place I'll say selenium dot start and then I'll say selenium dot window maximize so I have written my code I have written my code and I have so many problems to solve now how do I do that I have so many things to be solved okay let us try to solve these things now uh, let me have a simple break five minutes I'll be available by 8.50 I'll say okay 8.50 a.m. we will meet again